Hi, it's Dr. Clark here, uh, looking at LabChart, um, going through some very simple tutorials showing you how to uh, access your data and analyze data. Um, in some of the previous tutorials and in the, in the lectures and in the uh, practical sessions, you've probably seen the use of things called DVMs or digital vault meters, essentially little windows that hover over your data and show you the real-time data as it's been uh, collected uh, or analyzed. Um, a DVM window is very easy to create for any channel. We've got three channels here, so we can create a DVM for each one. You just click your mouse over the uh, selection box at the above on the top of the channel here, drag and drop, and it creates a DVM window. And this shows you what is happening on the input if you're recording, or if in this case you're doing analysis, just shows you what the data point is, what the value is at the cursor. This is quite useful just to look through data and have a little, little browse. But if you were going to be using this for writing data down, it does still involve writing data down with a pen and a pencil or a paper and a pad uh, and trying to uh, then transcribe this into Excel or another program for analysis. This can be a little bit tedious, can be quite time consuming. Um, so sometimes it's nice to be able to select an area and work out what the mean is. So we can select this area here and of course we can't work out what the mean is because uh, our numbers are changing as our cursor moves. So that's a DVM, it's very useful but limited uh, for doing analysis. So we're going to use another kind of mini window now which isn't a DVM but it is just a little mini window that gives you a similar look but gives you much more interesting data. We access this new type of window using the data pad there's another little section on this tutorial about using the data pad for other functions, but for the moment let's go to the data pad. You go to the Windows menu and click on data pad, and here's the data pad. It's a series of uh, rows which represent data acquisition, uh, and a series of columns which represent data that you are um, looking at. We've got grip force, blood pressure and heart rate for instance. Let's say we want to see the heart rate mean on the screen as we're doing our analysis without flipping between the data pad and the chart window. So we can click on the heart rate mean, and right at the top here you've got a little thing that says mini window. So you can click on mini window, and what will happen is when I click on OK, it'll bring up a mini window, indicating me here we are, mean heart rate wherever the cursor is. This is currently given to me at four decimal places, which as you probably know is, is incorrect. So we can click on him, and now you've got the option to format the data right down the bottom here. Click on format and this is just like the cell formatting uh, document uh, editing in Excel. Click on zero so it's just uh, no decimal places. Press OK and now you've got a mean heart rate of 83. So we can go back to our chart view and we can select areas of our chart and lo and behold it gives us now a mean heart rate over the area we've selected. So for instance what was the mean heart rate during all of this experiment? 93 compared to a baseline period prior to the experiment 63. So it's very easy then, you could if you wanted to just write down these sort of mean uh, numbers. And if you're just doing single measurements like, like I've, I've just done there, so selecting all of this and going what is the mean, or selecting all of this and what is the mean, very quick and easy, very easy way of getting uh, mean data. Equally you can use one of these little mini windows to tell us what the maximum or the minimum data is. So let's say you want to know what the maximum contraction was over this period here. We go back to our data pad, we can add a new channel Let's close him for a second. Add a new channel on D. Go to Statistics and choose Maximum Value and we'll select Grip Force. Put a mini window up. Format our data so it's perhaps one decimal point. There's no point in having four decimal points. Press OK. And now we've got a little maximum window here. So it says Grip Force Maximum Value. Go back to our chart. Select a period of here. And it's telling us the maximum value was 9.2 kilograms and I'm reckoning that corresponds to this peak here so let's just check yeah that peak there is 9.1 9.2 so that's correct we could compare that to this section where the peak was 10.6 or this section where the maximum was 0.3 so again a very useful tool for looking at maximum looking at minimum looking at means and other such variables so uh, I hope that's helped with some of the analysis